Hello, today's Bible study comes from the book of Colossians, chapter 4, and we'll be reviewing verses 7 through 9. Titius will tell you all the news about me. He is a dear brother, a faithful minister, and fellow servant in the Lord. I am sending him to you for the express purpose that you may know about our circumstances and that he may encourage your hearts. He is coming with ominous. Onesimus, I'm sorry, our faithful and dear brother who is one of you. They will tell you everything that is happening here. So now Paul is starting to talk about ending um, his letter. And he's he says, Tituus, a beloved brother. And he's introducing Tychicus, who... I'm assuming the Colossians didn't know her. Why would he be introducing him? But he's introducing him to the Christians, uh, to the Colossians. And he was going to carry the letter from Paul to them. So what letter is he going to carry? The one where Paul says they will tell you all of the news that's going on. What's happening with me? Where we are at? What a... The circumstances. So, Paul sent him instead because Epaphras was not coming back because he brought the news from Colossae. Remember, if you remember back in chapter one, but now going back, it would not be him. And, and remember that. Tychicus was a traveler with Paul, so he knew Paul's ways. He had, he had come from, um, uh, where was he at? Uh, Asia. He came from Asia with Paul, and so he knew Paul's ways. Paul was always a trainer of his people that were with him. Paul was definitely a team player once he got changed, had his intervention. And he was going to bring this letter and hand it off. So he was traveling also because he wasn't sending him with himself, um, Onesimus. And who was Onesimus? He was a brother. And if you remember, Onesimus was a slave. And he was a slave from one of the people in Colossae. And Paul acknowledged not just Onesimus the man, but he even acknowledged his status and still said that he is a faithful and beloved brother. And he said, now recognize that he is one of you. And I don't know if Paul was saying on status, but I do know he was saying on believing in Christ Jesus. So Paul introduces Onesimus as a new vessel or a different vessel and tells him that he is one of you. And as he said in Galatians, we are all one in Christ Jesus. So here is a point that Paul, Paul brings up in the greeting when he's leaving, when they are leaving him to take the letter back. So Paul is always team building. Paul is always encouraging and he's giving praise in everything he does. He acknowledges people and he claims them as brothers and sisters. In other words, he says we are united in Christ which we all should be. And as Paul tells you of uh, these two gentlemen are bringing a letter, he acknowledges them and tells them in Colossae to accept them. Amen.